You guys have to understand, if my senior citizen mother wants to go for a over two mile walk, that's one thing, okay? That's one thing. But for Marion to, my mom called on Sunday, for Marion to like blow my mother off, first say, well you must be doing something wrong, like she'd been saying all along, and my mom had to insist, and um, you know, no I'm not doing anything wrong, you know, if it was winter, it just makes me sick. If it was winter, if it was raining out or whatnot, my mom would have been just out of luck. She would have had to, you know, be the good little girl, because remember, she's not an adult, she's Marion's fucking daughter, okay? Um, and wait till Thursday and have no phone, because remember, her cell phone is her only phone. It's not a backup phone, okay? It was very important that she have a phone, and according to her, well, I fought with Marion, you know, but it's just a joke. It's a fucking joke. My mom's phone's not working. Marion wants to get my mom the, the cheapest phone possible. Then Mary wants my mom to wait days to even have any kind of phone. Mom was like, I don't know, wait. So she took matters into her own hands. That's all fine and good. But you know what? Marion, you know, claims she, she, you know, she's supposed to have all this power over my mother, even though she's not court appointed, and it's her fucking day off, and she can't take my mother to go get the phone. She's going to do it when she feels like doing it, which would be days later. My mom didn't want to wait, so she doesn't drive. She walked over a mile down to where we used to catch the bus, go to the store, and it just so happened that she could go there. It, that was just chance. Otherwise, she just would have had to wait like a good little girl. You think that's right? You think that's not elder abuse? You know? <laughs> It's, it's sick. It's sick, and it's, it's just par for the course, you know? It's what Marion does. Remember, Marion doesn't live far away. She lives down the street. She just didn't feel like it. First, she wants to just blow my mom off and keep insisting, you're doing something wrong, Smith. You're doing something wrong. It's your fault your phone's like that because she can't be bothered, okay? She can only be bothered when, when you know, when it's convenient for her. Oh, but she fucking loved the $53,000 that she put into her pocket, didn't she? Oh, yeah, she loved that. And meanwhile, she's going to get it all. <laughs> she's going to get it all because my mom won't say boo, not even, not just to Marion. My mom, I'm telling you, I, I'm not pushing it with my mom. I'm not saying anything. I'm grateful that I can sneak in there once in a while, you know? You know bullshit joke that is, okay? But she saw her psychologist. She's seen her social worker. I can guarantee you. I mentioned it. I, I mean, I hope you're going to say something, but she won't. Not only if she doesn't want to make waves, she won't say a word against Marion. That is how terrified she is of Marion. Oh, she might get into a fight with Marion herself, but she won't say anything to the important people about Marion. So why should I call elder abuse? If I call elder abuse, my mom will lie through her teeth. She won't tell the truth. It's, it's apparently impossible for her to tell the truth. That's why it was a miracle that she finally said to her social worker and her psychologist, because, but I was pushing her. She said it to Cheryl, too. I mean that she wanted to get a lawyer, okay? But remember, the guy she met in the net house who she thought was going to marry her or whatnot, she, he was pushing her before, too. You know, I had given up. But the bottom line is, that, was like, that took the last of her energy, and then it came to nothing anyway. She got sick. Lord only knows why. I don't know why the fuck she got sick. All I know is M Marion can conveniently blame me. See? See? Laura's pushing her to... She doesn't... Samantha doesn't want to get a lawyer. Samantha does, loves having me as her power of attorney. Samantha loves it all. It's all Laura's influence. Yeah. Yeah. All my influence. Everything. And my mom tells me all this crap, even with recently with the goddamn phone. And I told you, you know, Marion, I saw the refrigerator, and that was after my mom. My, my mom, she didn't clean the refrigerator. I know what the refrigerator looked like. Well, she says she did. Yeah, she did a half-assed job. She can say anything. First, she says to my mom, my mom's in the hospital, yeah, it took me six hours to clean the house, okay? And then she's telling me it took her two weeks to clean the house. She could say anything. Remember, she fucks with my mother's schizophrenic mind. I don't. I tell my mom the truth, okay? Sometimes I tell my mom too much of the truth and she can't handle it, but I tell my mom the truth. Marion lies through her teeth. Marion fucks with my mother's head, period. That's what she does. That is what she does. That's her modus operandi. Even my mom will still say, well, I'm like, Mom, she didn't clean the refrigerator. She did a half-assed job. If you had to throw away all old food, and I see smeared mayonnaise everywhere, and smeared this, and blah, 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 she didn't clean it. Well, she says she did. 
Okay, in 1984, they said 2 plus 2 equals 5, okay? Marion can say the moon is made out of green cheese. It doesn't make it so. Reality is there was mayonnaise smeared all over the top shelf. There was old food in there everywhere. I saw the refrigerator after my mother had cleaned it in somewhat. So I know damn well what it looked like. I mean, Marion probably, she did a half-assed job cleaning it. I'm not saying she didn't clean it. I'm saying she did a half-assed job. But she said she cleaned it. That's what I'm getting at. She says she took two weeks to clean my mother's house. Bullshit. Bull fucking shit.